काब बिन अल अशरफ Kaab bin Al Ashraf died 624 was according to Islamic texts a Jewish leader and poet in Medina Kaab would use his con- On hearing of the outcome of the battle of Badr he became maddened and swore that he would prefer death to life if the news was true When this was confirmed he ro- Kaab rode to Makkah where he started to trigger the fire of war and kindle hatred against the Muslims in Medina This was in contravention of the constitution When Abu Sufyan asked him which religion he was more inclined to, the religion of the Meccans or that of Muhammad peace be upon him and his companions, he replied He then returned to Medina to start a fresh campaign of slanderous propaganda that took the form of obscene poems with a view to defaming the Muslim women. Muhammad bin Muslima said, "O messenger of Allah, do you wish that I should kill him?" He peace be upon him said, "Yes." He said, "Now that Muhammad had gained Kaab's confidence, he requested a loan of wheat or dates." Kaab was so evil that he first asked for their women and children. On the 14th of Rabi Lawal, 3 hour, the full moon was shining down on Kaab as he lay with his wife in his fortress. When the returning five armed They set out on a walk. Muhammad bin Muslima complimented Kaab about his perfume and asked permission to smell his head. Flattered, instantly the others struck with their swords and Muhammad bin Muslima used his axe to strike Kaab's abdomen. As the axe cleaved his body, Kaab A narration of Ikrama Rajiu La states that after Kaab's death the Jews came to the Prophet peace be upon him and said, "Our leader was killed by deception." 